We want to welcome you uh, at Zana Community Church for this Sunday worship. It is always a blessing for us to come together and worship our God. Those of you who are watching and are listening to us, we want you to join us as we praise our God, as we hear from Him, as we pray, as we give, you know what we do. God deserves all the glory and the honor. Let me read one verse from Psalm 106. Psalm 106. Praise the Lord, all give thanks to the Lord. Praise the Lord, all give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. God is good. Even in the midst of all the troubles we face. His character is good. He never changes in that. In all these other attributes, God remains the same. And we are here to utter his goodness. Because he has been so merciful to us. We are people who deserved condemnation. We deserve the hell. But in his mercy, he reached down in the person of Jesus Christ and delivered us from this eternal condemnation. And here we are today. Even this morning, after going through the week, we are here to thank Him, to praise Him, and are here to hear from Him as He feeds us from His Word. Let me ask you to join me in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you that you brought us together today to worship you. For those who are watching and those who are listening, we are so privileged to have such a time. A time to sing praises to you. A time to pray to you. A time to fellowship. A time to learn from you. And so we pray that you be in our midst. We are ready to receive from you, O God. As we also bring our praises to you, Lord Father. May they be acceptable in your sight. For you are a God who delights in your people. And you are in the midst of worship. And we thank you for that. Be pleased this morning to receive all our praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me request you to join the choir as we sing together. You can even stand up wherever you are. But in your sitting room, and those who are driving, don't stand up. Just sing with us. Join us. May God be honored and praised. Amen. Amen. Hello. Welcome to this Sunday worship. We are going to sing for the Lord, and we are so privileged to sing to the Lord. As we come to the throne of grace, we come with confidence that we stand on the promises of God, that we are made children of God. And we come to the good and gracious King. This is the first song we're going to sing. It says, Good and Gracious King. Be blessed as we sing together this morning. Yes, yes. Get on your feet and we sing. Amen. Nothing in my hand 
hands I bring by the promise of acceptance from a good and gracious King. I will give, I will give to you my body. As you give to me your strength, come and fill me with your spirit. I will still believe this prayer. You deserve the better glory. Overcome and lift my
Yeshua, you're a good and gracious King. Yes, you are. Cause you are good, you're a good and gracious King. You are. And precious, our God is great. Amen. God turns water into wine, He opens the eyes of the blind. He's the greatest. Hallelujah! Amen. Hey, Come on, wherever you watch, clap for him and dance for him. Get up, get up on your feet, get up. Turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. We say, Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like Thank you, Lord. None like you. We declare our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than many others. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Like 
trust in him we trust our lives with him we put our lives in his hands Amen. because he's Yahweh Yahweh Alpha and Omega Amen. Amen. Amen
Sayo, to Kwanidiza Mukubera Ukwaba Nabo, Kubanga Watu Subiza Mukamaba Kama, to Babidi Baba Satuvana Kungana Anga Murinyadio, now no Vedanga Masakati Gahu, Nada to Kwanidiz or Nakuruadero, Murinyadia Yesu Christo Mana Katondomra, to Kwanidiz Amukusinza Kuna, to Kwanidiz Amukuimba, to Kwanidiz Amukutendeza, Kaba 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 Kajangu Egurumise, Yangola Visechi Tiwa Chonga Bana Wakunga. Yangola be such a tea, watch your macagafe. Yangola be such a watch your mucaniso, cabacaba, cabaca. Yangola be such a tea, watch your medium with your fee. Yangola be such a tea, watch your mufumbo wafe. Yangola be such a tea, watch your sandaria fee. Yangola be such a tea, watch your get your gambo to chigrizwa. Get your gambo to chibuliwa. Get your gambo to chisomesewa. To quan it is a ayo moyo mutukufu. To jajoli cabacaba cabaca. Got to take it to the abato. Sunday, Gutunaze kaba 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 ka gutulongo se gutwambule empitambi yona gutwambule enjegerezo na ezubade zikutobula mbafe tuko wole chisacho na maftago aga kutule njegere ga kutule buli rujegero no romubi molinye liyamu kama fe yesu tuja jori katonda fe otwambule emiziziko otujeke emisambo mulabe jada tademo kuboli ya fe molinye liyamu kama fe yesu Tulangire chisacho no kubera wopo mula mugwa fe Tulangire mire mejo ay kabaka haba kabaka Dadan sabira haba na baba buwala na bobo lezi Habalye yonga baku nganye mkubera wopo Dada basu singa nengabu ni chinomu wa kwetaga Habalu wando bateke kengalo yewonya Habali nebisi bukatona ango berecho kudamwe liebisi bivalina Habali na mabanja bukamange basu singa ne Osasurama banja gawe Kwe ya sasure banja li singo bune a band yet to reach a fate to quail the Yakatona for us to sink on it. No linear yam come up for yes. Savia with Mukazno Sajari, Matana Kutagera, Gamu Kame, Romno Kosiwe, No linear yam come up for yes. The Gomoyo or Mutuku, or Ya Itera, Midizo, Rechibi, Alumidize, or Rechibi, no Musanga, Mitima Jawe, and our way to set your queen and Yanoku Jajoli, Baro Kolebo, no linear yam come up for yes. Quavaza. Rwaba na babu wala na babu lensi, abawe reza. 
Masogo, Abakuimbi de Kabaka, 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 Abakubi de Vuga Katonda Wangi, Saboba Gavi or Mukisa, or Gomu Yika, Oba Kula Kulanye, Oba Gagawase, Oba Gansie, Oba Sanya Say, Abano Yamu from Babu Fune Murini, Yamu Kama for Yes, Abana Baba Takoa, Kusaba, Abakuno Yabri Jo, Ababera Mukusaba, Ababera Mukubera Woko with Jo, Basin Kanenechi, no Necha Magero, Molini Yamu Kama for Yes, Bera Kobo Sanya Solo Arero, Bera Kobo Sangura Masiga, Bera Kobo on Yenrade, Molini Yasu Mistomana, Tonomram, Chetuva Tugana, Ranga Tusazam, in Quezon. Nekole zomu visitani Tuzi kuba no muriro Nenyo ndeye chigamu Ochomulinye ya Yesu Christo mwana Tunumramu Tu angula magombe Tu angule nduade Tu angulo kufa Tu angule chibi Oruomu sayi Oguamu kama fe Yesu Christo Noruwa manya Gamu zuki zokufa magombe Mulinye ya Yesu Christo mwana Tunumramu Tukweba zamu kama Kubango tulide Erotu anu kude Olinabo Sanyu saka kano Muli nyari ya Yesu Kristo mwana kutonumlamu Weba linyo Yesu Weba linyo mukama Weba lomoyo mutukufu Tukwe chitiwa netendo Muli nyari ya Yesu Kristo Amina Praise be to the Lord. We are so grateful once again for the opportunity He has allowed us to have uh, in listening to His word. I will come you with me in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 1. And we shall be reading all but a few verses. Verses 6 through 8. And here is the reading of God's word. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you, to, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times all the debts the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Obakabaka Eris Raidi Nabagamba anti Sikwamwe o Kumanya and two kone one kuba debi ro Chita febia teka obuyinza we ye Nayemuli wewa a mani 
omoyo mutukuvu bwali mara okujja kumwe namwe muna abanga bajuli bajuli ruwabange mu Yerusalem ne mu Buyuda yabonna ne mu Samaria ne mu kutusa ku nkomero yensi amen thank thanks be to the lord for the reading of his word i ask you also to read with me from luke chapter 24 jakuba sabera tubikure bible is a femuluka esura eyokuna luke chapter 24 esura yabili mwenye ya luka from verses 44 through 49 kuva kulwana mwenye paka kulwana mu mwenda here's the reading of god is word soma bwechite he said to them this is what i told you while I was with you, everything must be fulfilled that is written. That is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in the name of Jesus to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised. But stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Nabagamba anti bino bebiga nabagamba anti bino bebigambo byange binabulira binababulira anchali namwe gukingwanira byonna okutukirizibwa ebyawandikibwa nze mu mateka ga Musa ne mu banabbi ne mu zabuli nalioka abikura amagezi gaabwe bategere ebyawandikibwa nabagamba anti bwechityo bwechawandikibwa Kristo Okubonya abonyezebwa nokuzukira mbafu kulunaku olwokusatu era amawanga gonna okubulirwanga okwenenya nokujibwako ebibi muri nyalye okusokera ku Yerusalem mwe mwe bajulirwa bebyo era laba mbawereza mwe okusubiza kwa kitange naye mubere mu kibuga okutusa lwe muri ambazibwa amanyi agava wagguru Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the reading of your words. Lord, we praise your name. Because your word is powerful. Your word is living. It is sharper than a two-edged sword. It is a consuming fire. Ask this day, Lord, that you open our hearts to understand what you have prepared for us. May you consume us with the blazing fire of your word that will make you glorified and appreciate the grace with which you have loved us. In Jesus' name. Amen. The message before us is entitled The Primacy of the gospel in Jerusalem. The primacy of the gospel of in Jerusalem. As we begin looking into God's word today, I would like you to understand with me that that Jerusalem, as is being used in the text, is not merely a geographical location, 
but he's also a figure of God's special position. A people for God loved and favored of him. To Jerusalem, he had given the promises. The prophecies. The Messiah and himself. Jerusalem was a place chosen for his holy name. It was a place for his holy habitation. He was the one who made the covenant. This is exactly what the sound of the name This is exactly what the sound of the name Jerusalem meant for the Jews. Jerusalem Whenever you talked about Jerusalem, a Jew would understand a special possession for God. A people of God loved and favored by him. Just as Jerusalem was considered to be that, so is the church considered to be be a special possession of God. The church are the people of God. The church are the favored, favored ones of God. The church are those that are blessed by God. And, and to the church, God has given his promises. To the church, God has given his word. I am very much aware of this, that this message would not escape the criticism of those that are so much engrossed in doctrines. Than they, they are with the truth that is found in those doctrines. They care much about the doctrine, but they don't care much about the truth that is in the doctrine. They cherish. That such will arise is no shock at all. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the, the scribes were like that in Jesus' days. They prided themselves in, in knowing the law. But they did not care about applying the law into into wisdom. Instead, we see them rallying themselves against the Son of God. About whom the scriptures in the law and the prophets spoke. The scriptures we are speaking about Jesus. The prophets had spoken about Jesus. The Psalms were proclaim, making proclamations about Christ. But the Jews failed to understand who they were talking about. So they wrote up against him. Do you know what I am saying? We are going to look at two important things against this very background. Which will help us better understand the message we have read. In the book of Acts, we are going to focus much on verse 8 of Acts chapter 1. And one of 
the things we are going to look at is the amazing grace of God. And the second thing we shall see is God's grace rejected will turn into a burning sulfur, into burning sulfur to the rebellious. And the third thing There are many people that are viewed by others as the worst sinners. Even as I speak, I know you have some people in mind. You may not have raised your hand, but you are pointing fingers in your heart at some Some even without notes of others feel that Feel their own violence in their own eyes. Katine There are some people who feel the gravity of their sinfulness. There are some people who feel the gravity of their sinfulness. There are some people who feel the gravity of their sinfulness. There are some people there are many others out there that try to cover up their sinfulness under religious practices and moralism. Forgetting that they are bare and open before him to whom they will give account. For all those, the categories I've talked about, those that are thought to be the worst sinners, those that feel in themselves that they have sinned so immensely that there is no grace for them and those that try to cover their sinfulness for all those God has sent a savior Jesus Christ Yesu, Christo. And to all the door is open. He calls out for the sinners to come. There is a pardon. A part in heaven. A glory forever. He says, the great commission as it is commonly known calls for the preaching of the gospel to the nation you find that in Matthew 28 and verse 19 where the Lord tells his disciples that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son. The gospel is supposed to be taken to the nation. But what we see in Luke, there is an exception. Here. Luke is the only one. Luke that mentions the clause 
that says anti, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. When the other writers are writing about this command, they stop at going to make disciples of all nations. But when Luke is writing, he is very specific. He brings out the words of the Lord. And he quotes seem for what he said. He says, and repentance and remission of sin should be preached to the nations of the world beginning from Jerusalem. The apostles were mandated to preach the gospel to the nations of the world. But they were limited by this clause to begin their ministry at Jerusalem. Why? Why does Jesus want them to begin in Jerusalem? And why must the gospel be preached first in the church? To understand this, let us consider what John Bunyan highlights in his book the Jerusalem sinner saved. This is what he says about Jerusalem. With regard to her descent, her roots, Jerusalem came from Abraham. As a people of God, singled out for himself from the rest of the world. And God had done this to set his love upon them. They were descendants of Abraham. They were descendants of Jacob. God had selected them to be his own people. He had wanted to shower his love upon them. Jerusalem was a place of Jerusalem. God's own choice. A place where God was worshipped. A place for the house of God. A place where the high priest was found. And a place where sacrifices offered to God were accepted. It was a place for God's name and perpetual presence in Israel. Another important thing we need to look as we try to understand the state of Jerusalem is that at this time had decay was at bottleneck. Being the place it was for God, Jerusalem was at this time very decayed. Degenerated and fallen into apostasy. They had, they had replaced true worship with traditions. 
Bata de wobu rombo rombo mchifucho kusinza katonda mazima basinza rombo rombo As you can find in Matthew 15 and Mark chapter 7 Ngabo inzo chirava mumata yokuminatano ne mumako esura ya msamu Jerusalem had greatly backslidden Jerusalem ngabas basere debafute kumuramwa They had Bakute. be It had become a place where truth and true worship were much defaced. Nga chifuse chifo nga mazima ka kristo mazima ka kanote ka chala bisibu wa mchifecho na katono. Jerusalem had become a seat of sin and hypocrisy. Jerusalem chali chifude chali chifuse chifo abono njibatula nobu nafusi wabwe. Presumptions and groundless confidence and confidence was the order of the day. Ngo obwe sike babu tate mbulombo lombo wa madini ne mbobo njini nga bafude katonda. The expense of their own souls. There was malice, envy, blasphemy, and hatred drifting from leadership against the power of godliness. In fact, Jerusalem had turned into a slaughterhouse for the saints. This is where the prophets of God Christ himself and his people were most horrible persecuted and murdered the Jerusalem in his book the Jerusalem sinner saved Bunyan says Bunyan Jerusalem was so hardened in her sin Nti Jerusalem yali akakanyaliziddwa dana mu kibiche at this time mu kisera kino that she feared not to commit the biggest ngatati la kodala ku and to bind herself by that sin and guilt o ngatati la dalo kole kibiye kisinga yo unene no kwesiba muno kubera mucho when they say as they murdered the son of God his blood be upon us and our children despite everything Jesus had done both in teaching and life they decided to drive him out of the world. And Paul says that contrary to all men, they did not shut up the door of life against themselves. But also forbid those forbid that the door should be opened for anyone else. They never, they never wanted the Messiah and they did not want anyone to come to the Messiah. They rejected him. They also wanted others to reject him. This is what Jerusalem was like. This is how its people were. And those were its sins. Sin that cannot be compared with any other sin in the world. They abused the patience of God. They sinned against the light of the world. They trampled and trampled underfoot the blessings of God. They despised God's promises for them. They killed his servant. And worst of all, they killed his beloved son. I understand that the temptation is great for us to jump into judgment of them. 
I want us to see that the events that took place in Jerusalem with regard to, uh, to her decay are prevailing in the church today. Praise be to God. The evils that were prevalent in Jerusalem. A place for the habitation of God. A place God had set apart for his own name. A place he had set apart for his worship. The same evils are prevailing in his church. It is in the church that you hear men allowing men to get married to fail men. It is in the church where we hear men Women allowed to marry fellow women. No sanga kanisa, zikiriza bakazi, okubanga na babe wasa, na baba gata no bagata, mokanisa ea Christo. There are a lot of evils going on. A lot of opposition Christo. in the church. A lot of falsehoods spreading in the church. Obulimba, obulimba, butu de kanisa, kanisa ya Christo. Beatings, envy, murder. Obukau, obujemu, okuta, efutua. Unless we heed the cry of the gospel and to repentance. There, there will be no more escape. Once God's grace is withdrawn from us. In light of all this, we notice first of all that a very important thing in the Lord's command to preach repentance and remission of sin. This important thing is none other than the amazing grace of God. When Christ commands his disciples to Christo. go Christo and preach repentance and remission of sin, grace was in view. We see Jesus specifically commanding his disciples to start the work of evangelism in Jerusalem. If I were you, or if you were Jesus, you would have chosen to begin elsewhere. You would have commanded them to go and make disciples of all nations. Except Jerusalem. The place that had rejected him. Because the Bible tells us in the gospel according to St. John that he came to his own but his own did not receive him. He came to his people but his people rejected him. So if you were Jesus or if I were him I would have thought of other people first. But Jesus tells his disciples to begin their work in Jerusalem. That was amazing grace. Because we see 
Jerusalem by her sins had been rendered worthless before God. Jerusalem had become filthy. That Christ would have offered, have mercy offered to her. And the worst of all sinners. This was nothing but the act of grace. And compassion. The church. Is the light and the salt of the world. And for the world to see its light and taste, its saltiness, all the darkness in the church needs to be dispelled from me by the gospel. Its salt, its salt must be made better by the intervening grace of God. By the intervening grace of God. If we want the gospel to reach nations, we that are called the people of God must have the light of Christ in us. We need to have the salt of Jesus in us. If our saltiness is no more, there's no way we can ever make the world taste the salt of Christ. If the light in us is darkness, the only thing we can take to the world is darkness. So this is why Jesus comes into our lives. Through his grace, to have Jerusalem. Restored through the gospel. This was not the first time for Christ to show grace to sinners. We read from scripture while he was still on earth in his, that in his preaching that all he did signified a desire to have the worst sinners to come to him in the first place. He welcomed the tax collectors. He welcomed the prostitutes. He welcomed those that were despised by the world. The rejects of society were his. Target of attention. Jesus welcomed all whom the world had rejected as well. And even today, Christ cries out for you. And his cry is still the same. He says, come. Come. Repent ye of your sins. Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Elsewhere he says, Come, let us reason together. Come, buy and eat without money. You might be thinking that your sins are so great. Maybe you feel that you are beyond restoration. I want, I want to tell you, my friend, that it is to such ones as yourself that feel undeserving that feel unwanted that feel rotten 
that Christ calls. Christo Baita. He says, Agamba. Come. Agamba Mujay. For he will surely forgive. Honestly, he remembers none. The sins of those he forgives. When he forgives you, he remembers no more your sin. Forsake your wicked ways. Christ will give you a new start. And more important of all, your name will be found in the book of life. Let not the last of sin in your life push you away from the door of grace. Because it is not closed against you. What sin are you struggling with? What sinful habits are you fighting against? Fornication? Bwenzi. Adultery? Bwenzi bukaba. Hatred? Buchayi. Bitterness? Bukau. Unforgiveness? Christ will forgive you. Christo. He says, come. Secondly, God is grace rejected will be turned into burning sulfur to the rebellious. As it is, it is that Jesus is standing at heaven's gates calling out come. The devil is also at hell's gate shouting out to people saying come he's calling out the rebellious saying come you sinner you rebellious one where will you go do not go into fire do not listen to the enemy's voice because the fire is going to burn you do not let Jesus lose his longing for, you. for his longing for you means salvation come to him and live Bunyan says Sinner, you that have heard the, of the love, pray that you do not provoke it by turning into waywardness. Because he who dies for slighting love sinks deepest into hell and will there be tormented for remembering that evil. This is what Bunyan means. He says, if you have heard the gospel of God is grace, if you have heard the gospel of God is love, pray that you do not provoke God to become against you with your rebellion. Because when you die, after having heard the gospel, after having known the truth of God is one, you will sink deeper in hell and this will torment you more than all the other sins you have ever committed. 
Ngoroza kubi kuchibia chewaza kusinga kubia binabina bi wakona kula mogo. You will be remembering the warning of scripture. Ngo uli nebi ya wandi kibwa webali bi kula mula. And that will be more tormenting. Katia echo. Oliesa ni romu sango. Because you had the truth. Okutani koko makubanga mazima waga ulida. I speak to you, my friend. I speak to you, my brother. You are a minister of the word. You are a minister of the Lord. In whichever way the Lord has called you. But you have been spiting him. You have been provoking him. With your wayward living. With your mischievous behaviors. With your Yet you know the truth. Some of you are pastors. Some of you are elders in churches. Some of you are deacons in churches. Some of you are ministers in the choir. Ministers among the children. Yet you were walking in sin. Yet you were walking in sin. Married but living a life of adultery. Christ is warning you. He says repent. And seek for the remission of sin. It will be terrible. For you have known the truth. Fall away from it. The truth you have known will become the cause that will burn you in hell. Don't give in to the The invitation of the gospel will be to those who refuse them the hottest cause of hell. Those who refuse the invitations of the gospel will in hell have the same invitations that were offered them for grace as the hottest cause that will burn them. The gospel you despise now will be the fuel that will burn you in hell. Give your life to Jesus before it is too late. Before you die. When you can still call on him. Remember, remember that mercy is offered to the biggest sinner. Who is no other but you and me. You know, as Christians, like the Jews, the Pharisees, and the scribes, many times we think we don't need the gospel. And every time we talk about the gospel, our minds run to those who have never accepted Jesus Christ. But let me tell you this. I've known my sins more as a Christian than I ever did before I became one. When you become a Christian, the grace of God enables you to see more of your sinfulness than you ever known you were. So repentance and seeking for remission of sin is for us first. Is for the Christian first. For the Amend your ways. Amend your lifestyle. Amend your behaviors. Amend your thinking. 
Choose before it is too late. It will be too dangerous. Having known the goodness of the Lord, having tested his faithfulness, having seen his wonders and mighty deeds, as the Jews witnessed. When they were coming from Egypt, but perished in the desert. You don't no want to hold on doctrine. Justific um, we are justified by faith. We hold on those doctrines. Mm -hmm. The doctrine of the redemption. The doctrine of adoption. Praise the Lord. Thank you for knowing. That is, not, that is not for you to mind. You should mind about how you live before. God. Because the first place you don't know how he justifies you. You don't know how he adopted you. You don't know how he redeems you. It is his work to mind. Your work is to mind about holiness. Live holy lives as Christians. Do not place your faith and confidence in the wrong direction. Remember that Jesus died for you and paid it all. Come to him. He will give you life. Forget not his amazing grace. His grace is offered to the great. Yes, May God bless you. As you reflect upon his work, thinking about whatever sin there is in your life, may it cause you to come to him for grace. For his grace is to abound. The Lord bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have heard your word. You have reminded us of the importance of your word. The importance of the gospel. In Jerusalem. In the church. We need the gospel more than we needed it before we came to the church. Because we are the worst of sinners. Our everyday experience tells us that we are more sinners than those we usually point fingers at. Father, forgive us of our pride. Forgive us of our unwillingness to recognize our sins. Forgive us of not surrendering it to you. We come to you in the name of Jesus asking you for forgiveness. And I pray for that man and for that woman who has been struggling with the habit of sin. May you meet them with the grace of your word. May you meet them with the grace of the gospel. And Lord, I pray for deliverance upon them. Those that have been into drug abuse. Those that have been into fornication. Those that have been into adultery. Those that have been fighting with bitterness and anger and envy. Those that have been fighting with bitterness and anger and envy. Those that have been fighting with bitterness and anger Restore them in Jesus' name. I thank you and give you praise. Through your beloved Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. 
Go in the peace of the Lord. And remember that in the gospel, there is power to save from sin. Christ has Christ, paid it all. Christ for you and for me. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Praise the Lord for the word we have heard from the servant of the Lord. The gospel has to be preached. It was preached to me at one time, and I became a child of God. When the Holy Spirit comes to you, you don't remain the same as we have heard. We were changed. I was changed, and they were changed. Were you? We were. Yes, we were changed. So the last song we're going to sing is, Yes, no, Who You Say I Am. I am a child of God. I became a child of God when the Holy Spirit came to me and he lives with me. Amen. 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 God bless you.
Zambia Community Church. Tune in next time. Thank you. We love you so much. May God bless you. May God bless you.